This is Severe MMA, and we're with the winner of the main event at Lionheart Fighting Championship Sips, Jack the Honey Badger Owen. And I don't know what it is with you UTC staffs, guys, but you don't seem to want to go more than 30 or 40 seconds in there. Uh, you know, how, how pleased are you with what you've done tonight? Um, I'm, I'm happy and pleased. I mean, to be honest, I've had a lot of I've had some really bad trauma in my family. And I've had a lot of shit to go through, but for the past four or five months, I've been dealing with it every day. And I can't thank enough for the people around me and the people who love me. And to be honest, <laughs> this is like the ice on top of the cake. Now I can finally celebrate. But I'm back on the 30, 30 seconds comment. Yeah, we don't get paid by the hour. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to ask you, you know, as you stay, you know, you're starting out and you, you're working through this sport. You know, in boxing, they say they want rounds. You know, rounds. But does the same hold true for MMA or are those 30 second fights? You know, they're icing on. Is that what you want every time? Well, I'm not too bothered. I mean, I love getting hit in the face. For me, it's like breakfast. <laughs> it's every day. It never gets old. So, uh, you know what I mean? That, that's always been my motto. But um, to be fact, the fact of the matter is, I know a boxer saying he rounds, but if you can end a fight in 30 seconds and still get your paycheck at the end of the day, yeah. does it really matter? <laughs> that's a good point. And, you know, a ground and pound finish, that's nice. You know, again, we know you as a judoka. You know, judo player for but the all-round MMA game again. You know, there's something in the water because movement and footwork has come a long way. If you don't mind me saying, since we saw you fight last, you seem much more comfortable throwing those shots and things now. Is that a fair summation of how you feel as a fighter? Yeah, I mean, I've got to thank the camp I've had. I mean, I've been able to go down to fourth dimension and train with people like Andre Winner and Amari and everybody like that. And those kind of people push me to to spar, use my footwork, use. John Jitsu, hashtag John Jitsu, <laughs> put it all out there because at the, at the end of the day, I'm comfortable to stand and bang with anyone. But if someone wants to give me a ground game, I'll happily go wherever it is. I know I'm a judoka, but in the future, you'll know me for knocking people out. You know, the, you, you talk about the fact that you know your camp is good, the, the team you're training with is good. How, how often do you, you know, it's, it's only May. How many more times do you step in that cage this year in a perfect world? Well, I'm looking to go pro soon. Very soon I'm looking to go pro and then hit the but It's like I've always said to you and I said in the last interview, if they call me up and tell me to fight tomorrow, I'll weigh in and fight tomorrow. I right, bother, put, put him in front of me. It's not a record, it's not a person, and it's definitely not what you can do that scares me. Nothing scares me. Just let me fight. Yeah, you know, a fighting attitude for sure. You know, t tonight, what do you, other than the win, which was impressive, I mean, we can't take it away, what what, what are you most happy with? What, what, what do you take out of that cage tonight going, yeah, that, that worked a treat? Um, I take care of that, my movement's better, my footwork's better, but I've got so much to improve yet, I've got so much more people to help, I've got so much more training to do, and this is only the tip of the iceberg, I'm only 19, this is, a, this is a time to really develop now, you know what I mean? Only 19, we used to like you, we used to, <laughs> again, 30 second performance from you, a 30 second performance from Tim Wild, how important is that UTC staff's team to you, and, and the fact that you guys actually do travel a little bit and, and go to different gyms, how important that's been in your evolution? It's been amazingly important because of the amount of people. It's all about the people you're trying with. A lot of people should be more friends than worrying about who you're about to fight. At the end of the day, we're all in the same sport to help each other out. That's always been my argument. I don't care if I'm going to fight you next week or if we're going to fight in a year's time. At the end of the day, if we're helping each other, what's the harm in that? Yeah. That's what I say. I know a lot of people get sceptical about it, but it doesn't bother me. But my UT UTC staffs, Fourth Dimension, Fearless, all them people, even though I try with them every day, they may be from different camps, but they're all family to me. And family is the most important thing these days, because without it, you don't get training partners. Uh, well, long may it continue, because the improvements you've shown since we saw you way back, the last time we saw you fight was, I think, Lionheart 2, you know, way over three, you know, way back in, in for us. And the strides forward are amazing. You know, Bammer being awful busy, and you got a lot of teammates on that car, and I know June 13th might be a little quick, but is Bama kind of the event you'd like to make that pro debut on? If they offer me to fight, I'll fight. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't Jude care. Samuel, yeah, you got to get the boy on. You've got to get the boy on. Unreal. <laughs>